Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play. You're with Sambo and joining us as always is Seraphis, our level 29 Worgen Mage. Say good day, Seraphis. Greetings. And greetings to you from the wonderful purple huge vastness of the amazing Ashenvale Forest. And of course, welcome to you at home watching as well. If you were watching us in the last episode, you'll remember of course that we were down here recently. If we bring up the map down at this lake as we were questing around and now we're going to head off up northeast is it yes northeast towards this here the thunder peak this new area that's arrived in the cataclysm that we haven't seen before and of course we have to go and speak with sabina pilgrim at the southern edge of the thunder peaks lava flow and you can see there if we bring it up if we click on it here we go, a, what does it say, a volcano threatens to engulf all of Ashenvale if we do not act quickly. Let me assure you this was no natural eruption. My sister Sabina is powerful and she's gone to the edge of the lava flow there and she's looking for people to enlist in helping with the destruction of, what is it, the fire lord that has caused all of these problems. So we're going to head up there, we're going to wander up this road go say hello to Sabina and of course we also need to go to the moon well you might remember that we have to uh, cleanse a tear of a loon we've also got a dryer delivery deliver the glowing gem to Sheldron at the Rainwood Tower and of course if you've been playing WoW since the early days you'll remember the Rainwood Tower all right so let's mount up and take a little scenic jaunt we've ended up in a new place here I just discovered it just before we started filming called Talon Deep Vale and isn't it amazing it's this big wide open area here absolutely glorious look at it there's just so many nooks and crannies to explore and in fact i was running around earlier and fa whoa who's this urson gauss all right so that's a named mob i'd say he's going to be used in a quest later on or something like that obviously wandering around very interesting um, I was uh, wandering around down here at the Stardust Spire earlier as well, which is a new uh, little outpost that I hadn't seen before. And we've got some quests to pick up there, but we'll come back there a bit later on. Now, it looks to me like this could be a bit dodgy. It looks like to get through this road, we have to pass into some Horde territory here, or rather the Warsong Lumber Camp, perhaps the outskirts of it. Fortunately, these guys here aren't flagged for PvP, so we should be able to take them out. There's some Horde Orcs. Let's see what happens. Level 23. And the good old sound of clear casting there. I need a target. All right, so that wasn't too bad. Let's take out this other guard here so we can make our way through and listen to that, the beautiful music, the classic night elf music in the background there. Of course, interrupted somewhat by this nasty combat we're having with the horde. Hey, sometimes it's a necessity. And of course, there is the horde symbol, the horde flag. Oh, Silverwind Refuge. Interesting. And look at that. There's a big bomb over there with a quest on it. This is very interesting. Okay, where, let's have a look at the map. It must have opened up a little bit, surely. There we go. Yep. Silverwind Refuge. Oh! Oh, okay. So maybe this is why I haven't recognized where we are. Because you can see it looks like there's been some destruction going on there. The Silverwind Refuge is actually down to the south a little bit. Wow. Okay. Um... I'm not sure where we should go. We should probably... Well, it looks like there's a big quest over there, that bomb with a great big quest symbol on it. You can see there's Horde everywhere. These are the outskirts of the Warsong Lumber Camp, by the way. You can see there, they're using the Goblin... I uh, can't remember what they're called. Shredders, I think, those machines. And there's a Goblin Technician, in fact. If you haven't seen a Goblin before, that's what they look like. Try and keep out of harm's way. And there's all sorts of goblin machinery going on down there. And yeah, it looks like there's a bomb over there. I'd say... Yeah, I honestly don't know what's going on around here. That's the Silverwind Refuge down over there. Hmm, we might come back here a bit later on, I think. We'll try and sneak through. We'll mount up and get on with our already pre-prescribed tasks. But let's try and remember this area because, of course, as you wander around, it just goes to show if you do explore around, you'll always find all sorts of crazy stuff. Here we go. It's the Skunk Works. That's what it's called. Discovered the Skunk Works. And look at this. Some great big goblin sort of shredding machinery there. And there's a pilot up the top of it. Chief Bomb Bombgineer Exploder. He's <laughs> some kind of... Looks like he's a 
Yeah, look, he's got a asterisk, or rather an exclamation mark on him. I'd say he's the target of a quest later on, on the top of his crazy looking shredding machine over there. So we've got all sorts of goblin engineers, goblin technicians, and uh, horde orcs wandering around. And like I say, this is really, uh, for all intents and purposes, the edge of the Warsong camp, which sort of stretches all the way along. So it's a great big, huge area. Anyhow, like I said, we won't get distracted just yet. We'll carry on up north to our original tasks. But it's always interesting having a good old wander around. And of course, if you are playing WoW yourself, I highly suggest that you wander off the beaten path and have a good look around because you never know what you'll find, as you can see, evidenced by what we've just discovered there. And of course, you wouldn't know if you didn't hop off the um, road, because this is the normal road, of course. And if you didn't go down the side here, you probably wouldn't notice these skunk works. Um, we will definitely... Yeah, wow, that's really interesting. I have no idea what's going on down there, but we'll definitely return later on. In the meantime, of course, we need to hop over and try and find uh, Sabina Pilgrim. She's going to be around here somewhere. Look at that devastation, will you? Look, yeah, you can see there's lava flowing down from that Thunder Peak up there. This will be very interesting to see what's going on. Ah, there we go. You can see more of the... Wow, look at that. Silverwing Refuge has been completely taken over by the Horde, by the looks of things. That's... Okay, that's new in the Cataclysm, that's for sure. Um, yep, definitely be interested in having a good old nose around down there a bit later on. Let's carry on though, keep getting distracted. It's so easy to get distracted in this game. Right, so you can see here that Lord Magmathar is yelling Ashenvale will burn. It definitely looks like it's burning already. All right, here we go. Sabina Pilgrim, hello to you, a fellow Worgen. What's your story? Go with the flow. My brother must have sent you. He wouldn't have done so unless you're capable of doing what must be done. For all our sakes, I hope he's right. The elementals here, and of course you can see the um, elementals all represented. We've got the earth elemental there from the earthen ring. We've got the vortex, which of course is the wind elemental from the earthen ring. And Arctanus, who is the water elemental. And of course that's what the elementals in WoW do look like in this game. And they all belong in this case to the earthen ring, which is a neutral um, faction. And you'll come across that a lot later in the game, by the way. It's interesting that we're already coming across it now. All part of the ca uh, cataclysm, of course. Uh, the ant elementals here are now my allies. You must do as they ask if we are to prevent the destruction of the rest of Ashen. Vale. That's enough okay, for me today. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so it looks like they've a couple of them have got uh, some tasks to ask of us. Hot lava, the earthen uh, elemental gazes down upon you. The flow of lava must be stopped if we are to prevail. I'll grant you a portion of my power. Use it to fill the lava fissures. Okay, that's interesting. Use the gift of the earth to fill eight lava fissures. All right, so it looks like we've got something here. Here we go, Gift of the Earth. And you can see it's appeared in our bags there. Tar target a lava fissure to channel the Gift of the Earth and fill it. It takes until cancelled to completely invoke the power of the core. And of course, because it's a quest item, it will appear here in our tracker, so we don't need to go into our bags. One of the great features of WoW. Here we go. Let us see if we can freeze the enemy where they stand. A little worgen, says this earth elemental. Put out the fire. Lord Magmathar's minions must first be dealt with if we're to retake this area and put a stop to the fiery destruction of the forest. The lava rages on the flow to the north are strengthened by being on their own element. I fear that you on your own won't have much of a chance against them. When you are ready, speak to me again and I'll summon one of my own to assist you. Very interesting. So we have to slay 10 lava rages and if you need another freezing surger, speak with him. Alright, so let's have a chat and what do we get? Looks like we've got ourselves a little minion there. Let's see what it is. Freezing Surger. Okay, so I'd say that he's going to deal to these guys. Let's have a look at the map and we can see where we have to go. Okay, there we go. Lava Fishers filled and put out the fire. Ten Lava Rages uh, slain. So I'd say that this guy's going to help us out. All right, so we need to go to the northwest. I'd say we have to get down into the hot lava area. All right, let's do it. Hopefully we won't get burnt. There is a Lava Rager. Let's see what happens if we start attacking it. Wow, look at that. He's got a gold portrait. 1,743 hit points. Hopefully our little elemental here will start helping us out. There he goes. Off he goes to help. Ouch! 
talk about a whole bunch of hit points on these guys. Look at that, 1743 hit points. Thank goodness for our little helper or we definitely would never have got that on our own. Now because they're some kind of weird quest items, it looks like they don't drop any loot as well. Isn't it crazy? Amazing looking effects in here too. You've got the full moon up there in the skies of Ashenvale as Ashenvale burns. And I don't think we can manually send this guy to attack. I think we have to open the attack and then he'll follow up once the other, uh, once the mob actually hurts us, I think. You can see he's casting lava burst there. Yeah. These, whoa, 1,866 hit points this guy's got. Just as well we've got our friendly elemental here or else we'd have no hope. We're already halfway down in our health. And there we go. Okay, two out of ten slain. It's definitely going to be a bit of a task. Now let's see if we can find one of these lava fishes as well. Not sure what they look like to be honest. Oh, there's one over there. All right, so they they hover. Yeah, they, as you hover over them, they actually highlight. You can see it there. Oh, and it is actually sparkling in the middle as well. So let's actually target one and then use one of these fishes. Oh, okay, so we click on the gift of the earth and then basically select an area that's nearby the fissure. And there you go, you can see it being filled in and done, one out of eight. All right, so we know what we need to do now. Let's start our work. Just as well we're not getting burnt by the flames too, by the way. And let's interrupt him there, of course, with our counter spell ability, which will interrupt him casting his flame strike when we can. Boy, we need to really watch our health, actually. Speaking of which, 246 we're down to. This could go nasty. Let's lock him in place. Get the heck out of there. Whoa, all right, so we need to heal up. Let's have some food there. Eat up some wild rice cake and just make sure our health is in tip-top condition. As we look out over Ashenvale there, and of course we can see on the map that's Silverwind Refuge way off in the distance there. Amazing draw distance, look at the sky. Just, it's just an incredible feeling running around Ashenvale Forest. It's just so big, absolutely love it. All right, let's carry on with our quest here. One out of eight lava fishes filled and three out of 10 of the lava uh, rages killed. Let's freeze them on the spot, and of course that means our Iced Lance does double damage as well. Very handy. And good old clear cast popping there, giving us a nice free cast. And boy, we're really having to give these things everything that we've got because they have so many hit points. Absolutely amazing. Right, another lava fissure filled here with the gift of the earth. And like I say, I absolutely love the quests. Quite often, I mean, yes, there's a fair share of, you know, go here and kill X mobs, etc, etc. But at least it gets mixed up a lot with all sorts of vehicle quests, all sorts of different mechanics in the quest, as you can tell here. In this case, we've got ourselves a nice little item to use, as well as our little pet, a temporary pet. Wow, those guys certainly are nasty. Look at our health, halfway. And interrupting his spell there, freeze him and then use the Ice Lance while he's frozen on the spot, do heaps and heaps of damage. And of course, powering off our newly upgraded Arcane Missiles, which we upgraded through our Talent Point in a recent episode, of course. You might remember that. It's making all the difference now, thank goodness. Okay, looking for another Lava Fisher. There we go. Six out of ten of those guys slain as well. And here we go, another Fisher done. And that'll be three out of eight. Here we go, done. Let's look around for some more, and here we go, another Lava Rager. And of course, we've got the beauty of distance being a mage. You now we can get off quite a few spells before the guys uh, get over to us. Using our instance. And 
finishing him off with an arcane blast there. Wow, that was really nasty. I think we need some drink and some food. And of course, don't forget, folks, you can drink and eat at the same time. It took me, uh, well, probably a good couple of years before I actually figured that out. I used to sit down and have a drink, then I'd sit down and have my food. And I didn't realize you could actually do the same at the same time and believe it or not it is actually listed in one of the tool tips that you'll see on the loading screen when you load into the game so it does pay to keep an eye on those every now and then all right let's find some more fishes and some more mobs try and attack from a distance once again and why not fight fire with fire good old fireball then a scorch hardly making a dent in them though thank goodness for our pet a temporary pet Once again, of course, all this is new. Since the Cataclysm, all of these events have only appeared. Uh, what used to be here before, back in the old days, back in Vanilla WoW, of course, was just uh, lush forest and not much else, few mobs. But of course, now that the Cataclysm's hit, goodness only knows what's happened in each zone. And if you're familiar with places like the Barrens, you'll really notice that the Cataclysm has hit hard. You know, the Barrens has actually been split into two now. It's the Northern and the Southern Barrens. For those of you who have played in the past, certainly nothing like it used to be. And in fact, there's a lush oasis around there now, like bigger than there was before. And there's a massive big crater full of fire, splitting the Barrens into two halves. Absolutely incredible. So it's um, not like you go around the old zones in Cataclysm and it's the same old, same old. And not only are there new quests, new designs and layouts for the old quests, making them a whole lot easier, but the zones themselves have pretty much been torn to pieces. It's definitely a much different experience now, questing around the old zones than it was back in the day. So if you think to yourself, ah, oh, I don't want to go level a character again from scratch, trust me, you do. It's a completely different experience from what you probably remember back in the day. Right, let's freeze them in place and then blink the heck out of here. There we go. Instantly making up a huge amount of dis distance there. You can see we're miles away from him and he's frozen in place still. So let's use our lance on him. And there we go. 10 out of 10 done. With a little bit of health to spare. All right, all we need to do now is find these lava fishes. You can see when I hover over them on the tooltip there, of course, it does mention that we've only got five out of eight. No another little handy tip there. If you do have a mob that you need, when you hover over it, it'll actually tell many, tell you how many of them you've actually already got. All right, looks like we have to probably knock away one of these guys so we can get to this other lava fissure. Interrupt him, freeze him, use our ice lance. Wow, they take such a beating, these guys. Unbelievable. And there we go. It's a pity that they don't drop anything, actually, because we'd be making lots of money, I'd say, on elemental stuff. Normally, when you kill elementals, they drop things like volatile air. If it's an air elemental or a volatile fire or fiery stuff, uh, if they're a fire elemental in this case, and of course all of those can be used as materials for crafting. Very handy. Not these guys, unfortunately. Okay, that's it for us, I think, for the questing. Yep, time to head back and do the old hand and see if we can avoid the mobs on the way. Now let's not forget also, folks, that we've got a couple of instances to do. We're getting closer and closer, actually dangerously close, come to think of it. Look at that, we're over halfway to level 30 already. Unbelievable, wow. Um, if I can jump over this log. And that means, of course, we've basically only got one and a half levels left to uh, do the two instances that we've been trying to remember to do, and that is Stockade, Stormwind Stockade, and Black Fathom Deeps, both of which are, again, classic old school instances that we absolutely must do. So in fact, after this episode, you know what we'll probably do is 
take a break from the questing and I'll start queuing up off camera and once a queue pops we'll just film those episodes so we get them out of the way and we don't run into the risk of actually losing out on them on the dungeon finder because that would be a real big shame. Alright here we go you acquitted yourself well in battle uh, on the field however I'm afraid that Lord Magmathar has taken notice of you uh oh and the destruction that you've wreaked upon his minions. You'll have to deal with him or he is sure to burn you alive, Seraphis. Ah, we don't want that, that's for sure. Right, done. And now the earth elemental. Hot lava. Here we go, gift to the earth done. Yep, we are done. Well done, Worgen. Lord Magmathar's fire is now trapped, restrained within the earth once more. All right, looks like we've got some other quests pop up here. Now the wind elemental wants to have a chat with us. Our brother has lost his way. He scorches the ground, he vaporizes the water, and devours too much air. And of course, come to think of it, we've got the earth elemental there, the wind, and the water, and of course we don't have the fire elemental. So that makes perfect sense because, of course, that's him way up there above the mountain volcano, Lord Magmathar. I'd say he's the uh, elemental gone rogue, basically. Help us bring him back into balance and harmony. Vortex, here we go. The very essence of Thunder Peak, snuff him out. What? Good lord. Okay, the time has come, Seraphis. When you have steeled yourself, we will speak again, and I will summon, firth, uh, summon forth a whirling vortex to speed your way up to the skies over Thunder Peak. Wow, okay, that's really interesting. Channel the power of the earthen ring through the elemental uh, to slay the Lord Magmathar so that we may bring him into balance once more. Good lord. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Use the powers of the whirling vortex to slay Lord Magmathar. And look at what we've got here. You'll be able to choose from one of these uh, award, rewards here. Blossom of the earthen, earthen Ring, and that's held in offhand. That gives us two stamina and two intellect. And if we right uh, control click on that, look at that. You can actually see it's some flowers that get held in your hand. How interesting. That's really cool. Uh, the other, uh, other quest rewards here are leather and mail, so they're no good to us. So we might as well take this even for a cool vanity piece, something different. I really like getting different... Um, kind of items like this that are, you know, obviously that's something that could have been perhaps a staff or a wand or something like that. You can see they've actually made it a blossom. It's really cool. Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm ready to be one with the Whirling Vortex and defeat Lord Magmatha. Okay, well this is going to be interesting. Let's see what happens. Whoa, okay, so we're getting, look at this, we're getting scooted up the Thunder Peak. Look at that, I'm free of the bonds of the earth. And we've got some abilities here. Let's check them out. Sky Lightning Blasts Lord Magmathar with lightning damage, inflicting 26 nature damage. Isn't this amazing? There's a screenshot in that. Or, so we've got lightning, we've got Vortex Vengeance, envelop Lord Magmathar with the power of the Vortex, dealing 300 nature damage and inflicting 225 additional nature damage every three seconds. And what else we got here? Uh, return, no, we've got Extinguish the Flames. Extinguish Lord Magmathar's Lordly Immolate. And that may be used once every 15 seconds. All right, so let's use these abilities here. Whoops, better select a target first. Envelop him there. And we've got the Sky Lightning Blast. You can see he's got 6,500 health as we get a nice view. Look at this, a view high above the skies of Ashenvale. There we go. That's his Immolate. Now he put a dot on us and this ability here, Extinguish Flames, is what we use to actually uh, remove that dot. And we've got it on us again. You can see it up here. Fire damage inflicted every three seconds. And we definitely want to put that out. There we go. Use that and it put out the dot that we had on us. Look at this. This is absolutely incredible, isn't it? The sense of scale up here. We've got such an amazing view. And it looks like we can stay up here dealing damage to him. Um, wow, we need to get rid of that Immolate again until he's dead. You can see he's down to 2,500 hit points. And we're down to 2,172. Yikes, we've got to keep spamming this. Oh, we've got the Immolate on us again for another 10 seconds. Let's get rid of that. There we go, all done. And we can keep flying around him here until we use this return to the vortex skill as well. So you're not going to run out of time. But my, what an amazing view we've got from up here. 300, 154 hit points. And there we go. He is down. Lord Magmathar is down. 
fantastic it looks like we're automatically getting scooted back let's take that immolate off because it's still going to hurt us what an amazing view and look there's the moon well that we have to get to later on as well just over there over the horizon from where we're about to land and look at that an amazing view let's take a screenshot of that of the silver wing refuge as well so much fun we were just talking about the different types of quest mechanics and there you go there was one right yes. there and then all right, it is done. The power of fire is subdued and the four elements are returned to harmony. You've saved the rest of Ashenvale through your brave and selfless action, Seraphis. You have our eternal thanks. Let's definitely get this cool little, little thing here. And it's no good for us in terms of actually using our medicine staff of the owl. Currently has a lot more um, intellect and spirit on it. So we're not going to use this blossom of the earth and ring. But we are going to keep it for that really cool look that it has. All right, there we go. Farewell. All done, 2,400 XP. Wow, that was a whole bunch. You can see we're now basically three and a bit uh, bars away from leveling. Good Lord. Now let's have a look up the top here. Oh, he's still there. I wonder if that will phase out, actually. This is a bit out of um, continuity there. Oh, never mind. Maybe it'll phase out once we leave and come back. In the meantime, let's pop over to that moon well that we uh, flew over, basically, which is north of us up here as we ride through the edge of the forest, the edge of the flames and make our way to the moon well isn't it look seriously isn't it amazing even if we look down here the forest goes on and on as far as the eye can see it's just absolutely incredible look at that and you can see where all we're doing is looking down this little bit here if i bring up the map uh, this bit across here towards where the uh, glowing gem needs to be delivered to and we can probably only see about that far and yet it just goes on and on it's just absolutely amazing i'll never get over it i absolutely love it as you can tell as vista decides to go spastic in the background sorry about that folks no idea why that is all right trip to the moon well now where is this moon well somewhere up here Let's see if we can get there without aggroing all these bears and without vista going nuts on us thunder peak Come on, just uh, hold it together. We've only got a couple of minutes left of the episode. And of course, this is one of those great times where even though the quest uh, is pointing us in the right direction, we still have to do a bit of exploration to try and figure out where exactly we need to go. Here we go, Moonwell of Purity. I'd say we've definitely found the right place. And we found ourselves some tin as well. Oh, and look at what else we found. A Blink Dragon over there. All right, I'm just going to pause recording for the last few minutes, hopefully get rid of this lag, and we'll be right back. And we're back, folks. Looks like it's kind of calmed down a little bit. Uh, we've got such a little amount of time left in the episode. We'll just put up with it, I think. Look at these blink dragons, will you? Well, speaking of blinking, the frame rate's gone blink, blink, blink. Um, these are such a cool model, and of course, um, you get to see these every now and then in the game. In fact, later on in the game, out in Feralis, which is a zone miles away from where we are, you actually get a special quest where you're able to actually tame one of these, and it becomes your pet, which is very special. Not a lot of people know about it, actually. Very, very cool. All right, Vista is absolutely going bonkers. Dear oh dear, such a shame, because this is so cool, this area. The moon well, oh, there we go, it's all come back. You decided to come down now, Vista. Oh, seriously, Microsoft, what were you thinking? Let's get another close-up look at these Blink Dragons. There you go, folks, right up close. How cool are they? And like I say, later on in the game, we'll definitely be able to tame one of them. Very, very special. All right, so the moon well, here we go. And of course, this is what a moon well looks like. We have seen them before, of course, uh, when we were over on the shore of whoops zoomed out too far of Darkshore over here by the ruins of Orbidine there was a moon well in there as well you might have remembered that from that particular episode but right now what we want to do is cleanse this uh, where are we cleanse the uh, Elune's tear in the moon well of purity and that's right where we are there we go all done tear of Elune cleansed and you can see this is one of those quests that actually pops up to the side Dousing the tear within the moon well, the waters begin to glow and churn with startling activity. And we certainly saw that. He who would be forgiven. A voice from inside the moon well flows over your mind, bringing you a perfect sense of peace. And gosh, I love these moon wells. They're so cool. You seek to cure a child, but know that all things come at a cost. To the east lies Rainwood Tower. Standing outside the tower next to my moon well is one who has fallen into corruption. 
Avarice Ill Whisper seeks forgiveness and redemption, Seraphis. Will you help him to obtain that which he desires and in so doing achieve your own goal? All right, well, that's handy, of course, because we need to head over to the Rainwood Tower uh, anyway. Speak with Avarice Ill Whisper at the Rainwood Tower in Ashenvale. So let's have a look at our quest log and uh, rather at the map, and you'll see, yeah, look at that. They're probably right at the same location. So I think what we'll do, seeing as Vista is playing up, is we'll log out here at this lovely, beautiful moon well. Yep, Vista's not happy. Um, and uh, we'll pick it up in, in the next episode and we'll make our way over towards the Rainwood Tower. So that's it from us folks. I certainly hope you enjoyed that uh, super fun episode. We got to explore lots of Ashenvale. We got to see um, down here the Silverwind Refuge and we also got to of course take a trip up, literally up Thunder Peak on the back of a void uh, what was it, a, a wind elemental and take out Lord Magmathon. Lots and lots of fun to be had. Still lots of fun to be um, had in the future, of course, as we make our way down here in the next episode. And then onwards, we need to head over here to the Warsong Lumber Camp. And that's where we'll pick up a whole bunch of new quests. And of course, not forgetting down in the Silverwind Refuge down there, we had a whole heap to pick up as well. But like I said before then, what we'll probably do is a queue off camera to make sure that we get these specific dungeons out of the way because we're so close to level 30. We've only got till the end of level 30. Black Fathom Deeps and a Stormwind Stockade will be in your near future, I promise. But until then, it's me, Sambo, and of course, Seraphis, our wonderful level 29 Worgen Mage, saying, certainly hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Take care, we'll see you next time, and bye-bye.